<laughs> All right. Happy Halloween. 194 of the Playhouse. Zero and Amy K. A lot going on the next little while. Just minutes away from throwing out a name for 194's Pick Your Purse in the final days of that. That party is, of course, on Friday. And it's Halloween. And we're pretty excited about this. Psychic Tiffany on the show today. Tiffy, hear us okay? I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. I am your Halloweeny. You are the Hello Queen, is what you are. Okay. I'll take that. I like that better. <laughs> So we got, uh, obviously, the normal stuff people can call with, you know, the Yay. babies, the love, the relationships. But since it's mm-hmm. Halloween, I mean, if somebody's ever felt like a presence before or they wonder if they live in a haunted house or they wonder, you know, something about a friend or a relative that has passed, that would be appropriate to ask today, too, I would imagine. For sure. Now, if you want to find Absolutely. Psychic Tiffany and have her uh, all to yourself, you can do that online at PsychicTiff.com. But if you want to right now, call or text 237. It's at 701 237 Four four eight seven and already, I mean, we barely walked in. And people were flooding. If you're just ready to get to work, hey, TF. My people. All right. Someone said, "Psychic Tiff, I've been through a lot of heartache in my life. I'm 46 Aww. and I haven't found my man yet. Will I ever find him? And how will it happen? I don't want to grow old alone anymore." Oh, sweetheart, my heart hurts for you, but it is going to happen. It's going to be near early to mid 50s. And I feel like it's going to be a setup. It's going to happen because a friend is going to have you do a blind date. So have your friends pimp you out. This one freaks me out. Someone said, Why? I've been seeing and feeling spirits my Ooh. entire life. I okay. want to know if I have something evil attached to me, particularly a little girl. Ooh. Yikes, that is creepy. I, I told you. I, Ah, uh, yes, I have those EBGBs going on. Um, no, I do not feel like there's anything attached. Why are kid this ghosts person. scarier than regular ghosts? <laughs> like something about the idea of a child because ghost creeps Hollywood me out. Hollywood has programmed us to be that way. Oh, lordy. They make them creepier. Yes. It's the shining. Somebody. Yikes. Uh, this one we recorded with Carol earlier in the week when she heard she was going to be, you were going to be on. And she's just wondering Aww. if you have any insight on this. Okay. Let me play it for you so you can actually hear it. Yeah, we used to live in a trailer, and when in the middle of the night, you get get a drink, and you see a little girl playing in the hallway. All right, so is it, like, scary? Not really. Because I, I like heard a ball bouncing, and I, I look out in the hall, there's a little girl playing in the hallway. Have you ever tried to do research on, like, who that could be, potentially? Or? Um, they said a little girl had passed away there. Um, she was, like, a year old. Does Carol like seeing stuff or did her research actually like lead to the actual source of that? Like what's going on there? Any insight on that, Tiff? I feel like what she found was legit. I feel like it is that little girl that had passed away. But I don't feel like it's mean or anxious or, yeah. You know, I feel like it's very calm and very neutral, very benevolent. All right, 184 over the Playhouse. Got Psychic Tiffany on today. Your experiences with the paranormal or even just your standard stuff, you might ask Tiffany at 237. It's call or text. And I want to make sure that she hears me as well. Andrea, are you there? Do you hear us okay? Hi, I do. Thanks. All right, Andrea, I got you tied in with Psychic Tiffany. You're next up. Go ahead and explain your situation you want to throw at her, okay? Okay. Um, All right. (laughs) So... My family, we just moved to North Fargo like three years ago, and we found, thanks, we found Mm -hmm. this beautiful historic character home, like my dream home, Mm -hmm. and I was so drawn to it for just its charm. It's got these tall windows, creaky wood floors, and this sense that, you know, it had like a, a lot of stories. So, um... Yeah, exactly. And I really even loved like the eerie atmosphere that seemed to kind of linger in the halls. It just had a lot of, I just feel like it had a lot of stories uh-huh. in it. Um, and it's the oldest house that I've ever lived in, okay. but you know, it was built over a century Ooh. ago. Um, I know it's beautiful and I'm not, you know, I've never been one to like scare easily. I just, I really love historic homes. Sure. Me too. Um, so since the day we moved in, my son, he was four when we moved in. He started mentioning his friend who lived in the house. And at first, mm-hmm. I just dismissed it as like a harmless imaginary friend. He's four, you know, especially sure. since he was adjusting to just this big change, a new town Hello. and a new home. Yeah. Um, but as time passed, her, I don't know, his 
conversations with his friend grew kind of eerier and definitely more specific. Uh huh. So there are some unsettling things um, that happened. One of them was he told me that, so he calls his friend, Mr. Patrick. And he uh-huh. would say, Mr. He would say, Mr. Patrick is very tall and wears old clothes. And, uh-huh. you know, he once told me just so matter of factly that, uh, he was describing like what sounded like old fashioned trousers and suspenders. And, uh, he also said Mr. Patrick used to live here but stayed because he misses his family. Oh. oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, this there's a lot. So there's cool. more even. It is cool. It's also kind Girl, of freaking I want to me hear out. It out. Okay. I'm sure um, it is. So, okay. <laughs> he tells me stories about um Mr. Patrick's daughter and all the games they played together and he says um mm-hmm. Mr. Patrick used to fix things around the house all the time. And the weirdest uh-huh. thing is we had indeed discovered small old tools kind of tucked away in the attic when we first moved in, like really How old. cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> and one time my son approached me with this serious look and said, Mr. Patrick doesn't like the new paint on the walls. He said it's not how he left it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like I know and he when he this other time he said that Mr. Patrick thought my cooking was nothing like his wife and that he was wow. watching watching out for them as long as they treated his house right like watching out for us uh-huh. as long as sure. we treated the house right love it so <laughs> I guess I'm just wondering if I can really chalk this up to like an overactive imagination, you know, a mad regular imaginary friend, mm-hmm. um, you know, but it's been three years since he's had this incredibly detailed relationship with Mr. Patrick, who right. doesn't sound like an ordinary imaginary friend. So nope. I guess he's not. my question. Yeah. My question for you is, do you think this is just a phase or is there really this presence in our house? Maybe a spirit that my son can, I don't know, like somehow sense in our house. Of course. Kids are so connected to the other side. I do think it is. Yeah. Someone, it's a, it's a spirit. Wow. It is not, a yeah. An imaginary mm-hmm. friend. Sorry. I don't, I'm, you're probably not the answer that you wanted to hear, but I have to be honest with you. Cool okay. story, though, dude. Thank you for sharing. You are an awesome mom. And don't freak out. This is okay. And if here's the thing. Your, your baby, let him know that if he ever feels threatened, scared, you know, if you're, if you're getting cramps in your tummy, if, you, if your heart is beating too mm-hmm. fast, you tell Mr. Patrick to go away. And he, he mm-hmm. is the boss. Your kid is a boss, not Mr. Uh, Patrick. But well, let that's know good that to he's know. in charge of that relationship. Yes. Okay, well, that actually makes me feel a lot better. So thank you. Cool. I'm going to just talk to, talk to my kid about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. And if you want further resources, shoot me an email and I can hook you up with some other stuff too if it's creeping you out. Because I don't want, because okay. if mommy ain't right, no one is going to be right in that house. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Well, thank you so yeah. much. I, I definitely... Absolutely. Felt like it was more I, than just the regular. Yes, I, I was going to say, I know I just confirmed what you knew, but yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. We have consensus, sweetheart. Good job, mommy. Right. But truly really email me if you need any further assistance. Okay, I'm here thank for you. you so much. Okay. I you really bet. appreciate it. Take care. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks, thank Andrea. you. Thank you. So, Mr. Patrick is not a concern, is what you're saying there, Tiff. Not a concern. No, I don't think so, no. I mean, I think it is a little bit of a concern. You did say it's a spirit. It's not just an imaginary <laughs> friend. I would be concerned. You're a spirit, too. You just happen to have a body right now. Oh. I was imagining Patrick from SpongeBob, so that one didn't scare me like a ton. <laughs> yeah, That's like I was go. kind of picturing that. I like it. So more of them texted ones, Amy K. Someone said, my mom has been gone for three and a half years. I'd oh. like to know, um, is she still here with me? She comes and goes. Absolutely. And, and this is so funny. And she's like hollers at me. She's like, pick up. So I don't know if like you are just kind of a naturally messy person or 
letting things go right now, I feel like she's really urging you to clean. Pick up, just clean up your space, whatever. And someone said, at least half of the guys that I've been on several dates with or dated or been in relationships with have died. Are they cursed talking to me? Am I cursed? What's going on? You are not cursed and neither are they. I, it's just a horrible coincidence. Another one is my dad passed away six years ago from cancer. I'm just wondering, is he at peace? Very much so. He, it's so cute because I feel like he is like so the guy that is kicking back in the um, leather bound chair with a pipe and just like by a fire having a brandy. She is like so chill and so happy <laughs> and so in a man cave. Just happy, happy, happy. And someone else said, last year you answered my question about when I'd get engaged. Now I've been married for a year and have been trying to get pregnant. Just wondering if you know if that's in the cards for us. I think it is, and I'm getting December because I know that's what you really wanted to ask, but you didn't. Wow. Well, it is Psychic Thanks. Tiffany Day today, Halloween on the Playhouse. Call or text with your questions or maybe something even a little bit more in the paranormal realm at 237. Mm-hmm. It's at 701 237 4487. If you ever want to do so privately, psychictiff.com, where you connect with Tiffany. And I'm guessing this time of year that calendar's filling up quick so people should not loiter, huh? It gets a little busy, but we'll find a way, whatever. Yeah, I have, you know, I have options. So that can move you to the front of the line. It can. Yeah, if you're kind of a jerk, I can put you to the back of line. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tiff, this is but, a different one. So we talked with Jen earlier in the ooh, week, and she wanted us to yeah. play this one back for you. Now, we've talked mm-hmm. a lot about entities, but I don't know if they've ever had vehicles before. Jen wants you to confirm, ooh. was this really a ghost truck? Here it is. Yeah, so it was probably about 25 years ago when I was a kid. Um, we lived in a real wooded rural area, like game lands area. So mm-hmm. my friends and my sister and I were walking through the woods, as we did as kids, and we all saw this log truck go flying through the woods. We thought there was like a logging path up ahead. We got up there where we all saw it, and there was trees and like no passable road there. And to this day, we all remember seeing it, but there was no road there. <laughs> There was, uh-huh. you could see like tire, like not tire tracks, but you could see ruts where there was an old trail there years ago, but there mm-hmm. were trees all grown up through there and there was no way a truck could have gone through. Do ghosts have cars now? They can. Hello, oh. Christine. Hello, oh. Christine. <laughs> so that Absolutely. was... Absolutely. Okay. You know what sucks for the... If somebody was driving that, though, they didn't even get their own vehicle. They had to drive their work vehicle. Can you imagine having to drive around in the Y94 truck in your afterlife? I would be cursed. (laughs) (laughs) That would be a curse. That's terrible. They don't even get your own vehicle. No. I mean, I like the Y94 truck. Don't get me wrong. But it's like if it's between that or my own car, even working in the afterlife. I don't even want to be driving. That's also accurate. You don't have to. And then Meg's here wanted to know if her kid saw what it sounds like they saw. Here it is. My son was like three. It was five o'clock at night, so it was dark. And we drove by a cemetery. And my son said, did you see those people, Mom? And I said, honey, there's no people in the cemetery. It's cold and dark. He said, you know the good guy and the bad guy that fight for you when you die? They were walking in the cemetery. Honey, don't say anything else. What is that? Oh, my goodness. I feel like it was, um, what is, like, what did they see? They saw some angels and whatnot. Yeah, fighting over. Angels just hovering and protecting a soul. This happens? It does. So great. Cemeteries are like battlegrounds? They can be. Sure. That's so scary. Do all kids see this? Not all. (laughs) You're worried about your your baby. I am. Um, <laughs> no. Well, it's going to have, uh, could have red hair. They are so. very connected to the other side. Yes. But I mean, they are very easily, yeah, because they're still so young. They haven't fully detached from whence they came. Oh, yeah. uh, some more of them text ABK. Someone said, I visit my grandpa John's grave a lot, and I'm just wondering mm. if he hears me when I talk to him. Indeed, he does, of course, yes. And he, like, this is cute. Like, you are, like, on a regimented schedule. 
And he knows, so he knows when you're going to be there. So he absolutely shows up when you're going to say hi. And then someone and talking about like someone left a letter or a magazine article or some article. There's a piece of paper that he's talking about that someone left there that he's so appreciative of. And then someone else said, I'm wondering if my deceased husband sent my new love to me. They are exactly the same human, even the same diseases like diabetes. I wow. always think he had a chance or he had a hand in our chance of meeting. Of course he did. I mean, yes. I mean, I feel like he just kind of cleared the path. He was your love, Sherpa. And this one's kind of creepy. Someone said, I keep having this reoccurring dream and it's always the same that I'm going to die before I turn 50, which is next year. Should okay. I be planning accordingly? Oh, honey. That's between you and the good Lord above. I don't do death. But um, no, I don't think you need to plan on that. I feel like it's some karmic past life situation that you're just kind of reliving in your dream state. And then someone else said um, they would like to know if they're going to get pregnant. They're getting a little discouraged. Oh, I'm so sorry. Discouragement is part of humanity. And you will eventually. So, yes, keep on enjoying the practice. All right. This one is Tanya, and she just wants to know if you have insight on this. Here's the playback. Uh, a few years ago, we went to uh, West Virginia, and I seen this man standing there, and I walk right through him. And then my mm -hmm. husband's behind me, and he's telling me that somebody touched him on his shoulder. What was this uh -huh. you guys were visiting in, in, what you said, West Virginia? Where were you? It was a prison. Okay, so not really? just a prison, a haunted prison, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, so a haunted prison. Okay, what was it called? What was the prison's name, honey? Moundsville? Moundsville. And you have no doubt you experienced a ghost while you were there? Yeah, oh God, yes. I don't recommend going there. So what exactly are we asking Psychic Tiffany? Just confirmation that, that she felt like you experienced that and maybe what were their intentions or? Yes, very much so. I don't think I want to meet any prison ghosts. <laughs> I don't either, but I've certainly been my fair fair doing investigations and whatnot. But um, I do believe it was an actual spirit. So yes, what they felt was reality and they're completely off their walkers. Is it like a prison ghost or aren't like prisons or other places like they used to be hospitals or like psych wards uh -huh. and things uh -huh. like that? And so it could be something from there. Oh, absolutely. And that's what I think it is. Yeah, I was getting the name Clyde for this prison ghost. But um, yes. So, yeah, I feel like it was a former inmate. So it's it probably quite moved on. It, obviously not an unusual thing that there's people that, especially this time of year, they seek out those haunted locations and they like to visit those haunted locations. Mm -hmm. When yeah. you are selecting a place to go, should a person maybe be more careful with some places than others? Because I got to imagine a prison ghost isn't as friendly as like, hey, here's this person that used to live in this house, for example. No, not the absolutely not the same caliber of folks. Because if there are crap eggs in life, they're going to be crap eggs in death. And let's face it, prison isn't full of, like, happy, you know, snappy, daisy-like people. Right. Going to rip up this plane ticket to West Virginia. <laughs> Going there anymore. There it goes. Your questions for Psychic Tiffany, whether they are paranormal or otherwise. Two, three, seven hits, okay? Y94 Morning Playhouse. All right, Y94 Morning Playhouse Zero and Amy K with Psychic Tiffany. Today, your mini reads or maybe experiences with the paranormal at 237 hits. You can call or text that number. Let's grab this one over. Oh, you hung up the phone. Let's do some of those text messages, Amy K. Someone said, My mom passed away in 2021 unexpectedly. Since oh. her passing, I have had a few dreams of her in my home. Very re realistic dreams where we interact or dreams where we're in her house where she passed. Uh -huh. My cousin also had a dream with my mom in the hospital. She was hospitalized in 2014 from a car accident and put into a coma for a few years. My cousin said my mom talked to her and said, my heart doesn't want to leave, but my body is shutting down. Is she uh -huh. still hanging around watching over us? I feel like she has to be. I feel like she is not full time, but kind of 
in and out, comes and goes. And then we have another one that says, good morning, Tiff, and happy Halloween. Hi. My Is husband and I are trying for a ba- are for trying for baby number two. Just wondering if I'm pregnant or if I will get pregnant by the end of the year. Not currently, but by the end of the year, yes. Wow! Yeah, it's happening fast. And then hey, hubba hubba. someone else said, "Hey Tiff, there's a job promotion hey. coming at work, and I don't know if I should apply for it. What do you think? Should I apply, and do I stand a chance at getting it?" You should apply, and I think you have a better chance than you know, because your work family loves you. And I feel like they'll darn near give you whatever you want. So absolutely apply and push hard. And even if you don't feel qualified, show them how just kind of start doing those activities that you would be doing in the new gig. Show them that you can handle the responsibility before you get it. All right, your questions for Psychic Tiffany, your regular mini reads, or maybe something kind of ghostly and paranormal at 701 237 4487. That's 237 hits. And next up, we got for you, Tiff, Lindsay. Lindsay, do you still hear us okay? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, you're on with Psychic Tiffany. Kind of lay it out, and she'll do her best, okay? All right, thanks. Yeah, so my mom passed away when I was nine years old, and, you know, it left. Yeah, I know. It it left a huge void in my life. And no matter how much time has passed, like it just hasn't seemed to really heal. Um, And so growing up, I, you know, I've always felt my mom's presence, but in more recent years, it's definitely intensified. Mm -hmm. And like there are moments where I'm by myself and I'll catch like the faintest whiff of her perfume. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's not like, you know, a stranger, it is definitely my mom's perfume. I would recognize it anywhere. Um, And so, like, I could be washing the dishes or just, you know, doing Mm -hmm. the most. Anything, yeah, whatever. Watching TV, knitting. Right, yeah. Yeah. And so I I feel like she's close by. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there are moments where I'll catch, like, I don't know if this makes sense, but, like, I'll catch, like, a glimpse of her in my peripheral vision or something. Uh-huh. And Yep. Okay. And then, like, it, it'll be, like, fleeting shapes of just, like, her figure. And I don't, I don't sometimes I feel like I'm kind of going crazy, but yeah. then her... Welcome to my where world. <laughs> <laughs> where I'll walk by a mirror and I'll... This is going to sound wild, but, like, it's, like, no, I'll see her kind of smiling at me. I don't know how, uh-huh. how to make that sense, but makes perfect sense. Know. Okay. Okay. So there are these like faint moments that happen, but they do give me just this overwhelming sense of calm and peace. And I just awesome. feel like she's guiding me maybe from the other side. I don't know. Of course she is. Of course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just, over the years, I've tried to brush it off and think like, I don't know if my mom is, you know, if my brain is trying to just protect me or if it really is my mom trying to it's like. It's legit, authentic, rubber stamp by Psychic Tiff. Nope, it's your mama. Oh, okay. She loves you. She's got to still take, I mean, you're still her baby. So it is possible that like she's, her spirit after all this time is still reaching out to me. Absolutely. She's infinite. You are not right now, but you will be. And so she still has to check in and say hi, just like every mom does. Okay. That gives me a lot of comfort. I'm sorry. Yay. It's just oh, me. Don't be sorry, honey. Mm-mm. No, that's very special. Thank you for being vulnerable enough to share. Thank you so much. Thank you, honey. Appreciate you. Have a good one, okay? You, you all take care. Thank you. Bye, Lindsay. Bye. So let me ask you this, Tevin. Maybe I'm just talking crazy talk, but a lot of times when Probably. we hear stories, it happens. Like Lindsay's, you know, they are people that lost their parent at a mm-hmm. fairly young age. Brutal. Are you more yeah. likely to get that connection from your parent if you do lose them a lot long, younger than if you're like in your 40s, 50s, 60s? Do they, is there like an unfinished business deal or why does it seem like they, they really do come back? Is, I think you just, I think you framed up perfectly. Yeah. They weren't there, you know, during those very imperative years. And so, yeah, they want to see their 
work come to fruition. They want to see how you're doing. So, and you know, as a father, a dad is going to be a dad is going to be a dad, mm-hmm. whether their kid is a hundred, whether their kid is three. Yeah, absolutely. So you are going to love them just the same regardless. Your questions for Tiffany today, 237, it's at 701-237-4487. It is Halloween. Maybe it's a spooky question. Maybe it's not. The Y94 Morning Playhouse. Y94. Halloween and Psychic Tiffany Day today on the 194 Morning Playhouse. Your questions at 237. It's at 701 237 4487 for the 194 Morning Playhouse and getting flooded there, Amy K. We have so many text messages coming in that I'm not going to be able to get through all of them. So if you want your question for sure answered, please give us a call at 701 237 Hits. Um, But here we go. So someone said, my older brother passed away two years ago and suffered with depression from the loss of our mother when we were younger. And he eventually took his own life. But myself and his wife ended up having to make the decision to take him off the machines. So my question is, did we make the right choice? Because when we were saying our goodbyes to him, he had tears that came down from his eyes. And it made me question the doctors when they said there's no brain activity. Yikes. So the question was if they made the right decision. Yes. And then they also want to know um, if when he passed over, is he with mm-hmm. their parents? Totally made the right decision. And yes, he was. And that's why the tears happened. All right. And then someone else said my grandma and grandpa died four weeks from each other. Mm-hmm. And I took it really hard. I was very close with them. Since they died, I keep seeing two, two, two everywhere, almost every day. Is this a correlation? And are they proud of me? It is a correlation. And absolutely, they're proud of you. You are their progeny. So, of course, they're so ridiculously proud of you. And they this is going to sound so silly. They love where you just moved to or they love where you live. And another one is my ex died around five years ago. I haven't talked to him. Uh, I hadn't talked to him for years, but lately I've been having dreams. He's been showing up on social media. Is it just me remembering him or is he trying to communicate with me? I think it's you just letting go, which is a good thing. I know it's sad, but I feel like it's just psychologically what your brain needs to do. You're just finally ready to mentally to just let go not you know be forever forgotten but just kind of let it releasing all right let's hop on over here to bonnie you're on with tiff what you got bonnie hearing us okay what can i do for (gasps) you oh that's so wild um so when i was younger (laughs) i Uh drew a picture in my notebook of Mm -hmm. a unicorn pegasus neopet and when i fell asleep (laughs) i heard a ripping sound Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is the craziest thing. And then it stopped. Well, then it started up again. Okay. And in my head, I'm like, stop, this is so crazy. Like, no. I woke up the next day, and the page was halfway ripped out of my notebook. Oh, wow. I want to know who did it and why, if I, if you know. I feel like it was, um, honestly, I feel like it was a deceased family member. Like a grandma, yeah. a really sweet, you know, a kind soul. Yeah, I don't feel like it was like a mean thing or someone trying to piss you off. Okay. Just they thought it was a little wacky and weird. Like a, just an older woman energy. So like I said, a grandma, a great aunt, someone of that character. Okay. Thanks, Bonnie. That's what you get for drawing Neopets, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> that so often happens. Every Tuesday, yeah, this is Neopet just Day. Got a coloring book, I guess. More than Texas ones, Amy K. Someone said, my, ba- my dad passed away 10 months ago, and I feel him everywhere around me. Is he trying to reach out to me? I don't think he is. I think he's just being very protective and doing the dad thing. And then the same person also wants to know that they're, uh, they're saying their boyfriend and I have been going through a rough patch, and I'm wondering if we're going to be able to stay together. Oh, yikes. But yes, you will. I feel like you will endure. So don't give up. So easy. Acceptance is key. 
All right, so we're getting close to the final stretch. One of your last opportunities to get your reading done, whether it's paranormal or otherwise, with Psyche Tiff. Right now, call or text, preferably call 701 237 4487. That's 237. It's to the Playhouse. You don't want to dance with me. It's Playhouse in the morning. Y94, Zero, Amy K, and Psychic Tiffany here in the final stretch of her. We got the Hallow Queen today. Now, if you don't get through with 237, it's today. Uh, there are other ways to connect with you, Tiff. How do we do that? Oh, gosh. Go to psychictiff.com. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter. Heck, I'm everywhere. Instagram, Truth, Telegram. I am there. Yes, I go to the weird ones, too. I feel like we got to do the uh, the Psychic Tiff sales pitch for anybody that has not had some private time with you, even mm-hmm. if they've experienced you on the Playhouse. What are some of the, the experiences that they could have with you if they connect privately there, Tiff? Oh, my gosh. You know, you can ask about anything. Babies love moving, travel, what to wear to a certain event. I get that, too. Weird health little things that you're maybe embarrassed to talk with about anyone else. You know, weird noises coming out of your body that you're not necessarily comfortable in talking to <laughs> with your bestie. I've gotten it. Trust me, I've heard it. Yep, I know about things. You know, the weird noises coming out of your body. I might need to connect with you. But I have a few. Uh, honey, we'll talk off there. I'll tell you what one of my favorites. All right, we got Caleb for you next. Caleb, kind of laid out. You're on with Tiff. Um. So. Actually, on Saturday, it has been a year since my mom passed away, um, Mm -hmm. and she was only 47 years old. Yikes. Um, It was pretty sudden. She was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer about three months prior to that. Oh, my. Uh, And I don't feel like when we were in the hospital, she was ready. Um, She kind of voiced that she wasn't ready, so... Mm -hmm. I guess I always wonder if she feels at peace. I'm getting she very much is at peace because there is a there's a girl or a woman to her side. And when I say that, I mean like a sister or a best friend, someone of her same age group that that met her and it, it kind of, you know, carried her over. So she's very much at peace. So she's hanging out, having a good time, just relaxing, chilling and healing. Perfect. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Caleb. And some more of them text, ABK. Someone said, Psychic Tiff, my husband and I found his mother deceased, and we want to know if it was an hey. accident or if she did it on purpose. It was an accident. All right. Very unhappy accident, but accident. Hopefully that gives you some closure and some peace. And someone else said, my husband's uncle passed away un- unexpectedly in 2021. Before he passed, he told his stepdaughter I was expecting. She told me congratulations at his funeral. And when I went to the doctor, he said my daughter was convinced on the date the uncle passed. Is his spirit in our daughter? Only in the way of like DNA, not like in a creepy, ghosty way. And someone else said I got married last month and placed white roses on empty chairs in honor of my recently deceased grandparents and father. Love it. I just want to know if they were there at the wedding. Heck yeah, they're there in force. And I feel like they brought, like every person brought like someone else, like they, everyone had a companion or a date. So not only did you get the ones that you put the rose out for, but you got a few extra. And someone else said, my grandma passed away and she wanted me to sing at her funeral, but I wasn't able to because I was crying too much. I ended up going to her graveside and I was able to sing the song she wanted me to sing. It was very windy that day and cold. But when I started singing, it got calm and it was warm. Yeah. Was that her and other entities? It was just her. Just her clear in the past so she could hear your beautiful soliloquy to her. Well, Psychic Tiff, I think we're kind of hitting our limit here, but we appreciate you doing this with us today. It was so So fast. fast. PsychicTiff.com if you want to connect with Psychic Tiffany, and you know that we love you. We appreciate you. I got to ask, though, how does Psychic Tiffany spend Halloween? What are you going to be doing? I'm going to go tip a few back tonight and tear it up and watch a really good 90s cover band. (laughs) There you go. I honestly thought you were going to say watch a 90s slasher (laughs) flick, but no, that works, too. That works, too. Well, you know, it's all good. Well, Psychic Tiff, we love you. We'll do it again soon, okay? Love you more. Bye. Absolutely can't wait.